Oh yeah. Guys, we gotta talk about some great stuff today. Some exciting and wonderful things have been going on. And yours truly has a truly magnificent and splendid message for you today. Oh yeah. Well, when I get time, we're going to finish our series on the Green Horde. It's going to be amazing. But, we're not there yet, are we guys? No. Today, we're going to talk about something much more exciting. Oh yeah. And so, I promised a preview in my last video, but no, we're not going to talk about silver either. No, 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 no. And we're not going to talk about any Magic the Gathering stuff. No, no, no. Today, we're going to talk about some very lovely models. Um, no, we're not going to talk about Reaper's superior Gorgon to the one I showed you in my last, uh, well, superior in price, and quite frankly, the sculpt isn't bad either. No, no, we're not going to talk about Reaper versus Wizkids, no. We're going to talk about this giant box that I received from my friends at the Atomic Empire. And we're going to talk about what lies inside. I am not sure why this box is this huge. Um, I can't even... It's, it's probably three feet tall by eight inches wide. Yeah, so it's just a really interesting shape to this box. And we're going to open it. Those other videos are coming. Yeah. Wow. You know, I was thinking about the other day. I just totally, yeah. Gotta be careful with the knives, guys. Gotta be careful. You know, the real problem was using a dull knife. That's going to leave a mark. Uh, oh, on with the show. did do, since the sharp's so dull, or the knife so dull, it really buggered in there, and made it more like a, a bruise on my leg than a laceration. Barely broke the skin, but really obnoxious. Uh, so... Now that I butchered myself, let's look at this thing. Oh wow, this thing is freaking huge. I don't think it's going to fit on our table, so we're going to have to move the camera. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to move the camera. This is just not going to work, guys. I tried, and I failed. But there it is. Icons of the Realm. 
Now, never say I don't bleed for you guys. Um, like I said, it barely bled. I barely broke the skin, but it was obnoxious. Guys, we've got icons of the realm. The tower of power. <laughs> Look at this nice honka honka. Oh yeah. Are you looking at this? Oh yeah. Do you see the raw power? Anyway, what I was thinking about before I had my little knife accident was um, I was watching some of these fun antique shows and did you know, I don't know if you guys knew this, but today's toys are tomorrow's antiques. Yeah. So, if yeah, you believe for one moment that any of these things are going to be worth money in 20, 30, 40 years, you should buy two copies, one to play with and one to keep in the original packaging. However, we're not doing any of that because, well, either I'm dumb or I actually want to use my stuff. You see it how you will. But let's look at the front and back of this. Here's the front. This thing weighs over 20 pounds. It is a monster. It's huge. Look at it. I mean, that's my hand. It's a freaking beast. And it costs $200, so it better be a beast, huh? <laughs> but, uh, you know. Look, I was weak. And my addiction is strong. So I... I went ahead and I got this thing. Um, I probably should have waited on the unpainted version, huh? Which is sure to come and cost a lot less, but um, I don't know. It might get cheaper. Um, I don't know how many of these are selling, you know. So I might be able to pick up that extra. Ha ha ha! See how sick I am. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's look at the other side. Are you seeing this? It's even got a handy dandy list of all the particular components. And uh, it's pretty sweet. Um, we have one bottom floor, one middle floor, one top floor. Top floor landing, the floor skylight. The buttresses times seven, one door, eight windows, three staircases, and three double-sided floor tiles. Guys, that is the tower. And uh, I call it the tower of power because it's going to flower. Oh, yeah. And there are multiple layouts and variations on this thing, from what I gather. Um, you, I mean, you can set it up in different ways, and as you play with it, it's layered so that you can add or remove whatever uh, floor you're on. Um, so if you're on multiple floors, you can actually play it out. Yeah. Well, as soon as I opened it... Um, parts started falling out. So that's pretty exciting. Let's, uh, let's see what we're working with here. Okay. So there you go. Some stuff fell immediately out of the holder. But, uh, this is what you get, guys. And, uh, some assembly is required. Um, we'll look at the pieces that fell out. So you can kind of get a gauge of the quality you're looking at here. So this is one of our three stairwells, I think it was. That's pretty exciting. And uh, these are 
walls or windows. That doesn't fit in there, so it must go in here, I would imagine. Is there like a layout? Oh, there's instructions, guys. It comes with instructions. Anyway, this is what you get, guys, for 200 bucks. These all fell out. They all click together, it looks like. And it's uh, two-sided, so no matter which side you're on, you're going to see something. I just gotta figure out how to stuff it all back in. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be an adventure. Guys, I'll talk to you in just a little bit. Yeah. Say bye to the guys. Also with that, I purchased some other items, um, again from AtomicEmpire.com, and uh, these were about seven something each. Um, what it is, is it's a set of paints, and uh, they are Vallejo paints, and it's a partnership with WizKids, and so they're unpainted line. So you get these lovely paints to go um, on your WizKids miniatures. However, um, there's nothing saying you can't use them to paint up a lovely basilisk. That's why I put that out there. You know, it's a nice example. Um, although, to be fair, I, I didn't use Valle these Vallejo paints. I've never even opened these packets. But let's do that. Let's see what's in one of these packets. So, is it a deal at... It might have been 12 bucks. It's been a while. But I think it was 7 bucks. You'll have to check on the site and see. I feel like it was 7 bucks. How do I open this? Without, oh, well, I want that idea. Open it gently. No. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll just rip it open. <laughs> okay, so it comes with some uh, instructions on how to paint a miniature probably better than anything I could give you and then you get one two three four five six seven eight one two three four yeah eight eight paints and let's look at one of the vials and see what we're working with here okay so it's these little baby vials the same ones you get kind of with the Army Painter. Eight mils. So, you know, um, seven bucks for eight little droppers of paint. That'll let you paint uh, any of these lovely miniatures that they got. And they'll tell you how to do it. So this, this might be great for, like, beginners. Um tell you exactly how to get that look that finished look and uh, you can scan the code for the online tutorial uh, that'll tell you step by step how to paint these bad boys okay there's no miniatures with these packs though there are some packs they sell with paint and miniatures and one one's called the paint night set or something like that it's got a manicure in it 
and it doesn't look like a bad little deal at 20 bucks. Um, so check that out if you can find it. I didn't buy one because I already have the Manicore Mini. So I don't need duplicates of that and I don't need any more paint in my life. But I bought several of these sets. Um, so I'm preset on paint, like I said. Defenders of the Wild. Let's look at all these real quick. And then I can put them away because we did our video. Alright, Defenders of the Wild. Wood and steel, and it shows on the front here the colors that are included. Wood and steel is the set. Don't you regret? Get the whole thing. What are you doing? Champions of the Realm. I don't know if these miniatures have been released yet. I don't know. I know them look super familiar to me, but <laughs> for all I know, I already own them. Okay, um, Dungeon Depths, so I do recognize these minis right off, I own all of these, so Dungeon Depths, um, it's going to give you some nice stone colors, this one's Protectors of Virtue, and again you can see the colors down here at the bottom that you get for your $7 or $8. And woodland creatures. So you want an owl bear or a wolf or a bear or an elk or an ox? This is the set for you. Um, Masters of the Arcane. So these are your more colorful pastels. Very nice and very lovely. Too bad it doesn't come with the miniature sign, guys. That'd be really awesome. All right. And finally, I got the Shadow Warrior set. So these are for ninjas and your rogue type characters. Very exciting stuff. Guys, I want to thank you again for watching today. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I uh, hope you find all the collectibles and art supplies and coins and miniatures of your dreams while you're awake. Take care and be good to everyone you meet. Okay, this is the assembled, the assembled product. Now, this is a scenario I've come up with. Um, now, the tower, the top of the tower has options. You can have a floor or you can use this sunroof. Okay. In our scenario, we have a roof on top and our entrance is here and it is guarded by our orc captain, his pet Gorgon, and his ogre bodyguard now to enter our fortress of orcish might you have to go through the doors which uh, conveniently open and close very nice there are turrets I was not able to well I could have if I really wanted to but I did not put the turrets on because it was a lot. Uh, it was actually hard to get out of the packaging. I didn't want to, you know, break it. So there's that. Now let me show you some cool stuff. This uh, particular design has advantages. But first, let's get a few angles. Um, it's pretty much uniform all the way around except for the door which are only found on the front side. Pretty cool. We have on top our little friends doing friendly things, holding hands and maybe casting some evil ritual. Uh, they are statues. And they're a little too big to be people, really. Um, unless they were, you know, not human. Bum, bum, bum. So, there you go. And 
let's look at some of the features now. You guys are gonna get a kick out of this. So, you've entered the dungeon. Dun, dun, dun. And boom. Guess what? <laughs> We're not alone. These are where the low level conscripts live. And they are ready to fight to defend the stairs. Which come with the package. Once you've cleared these baddies out, you can get to the next level. Level 2. Standing between you and your goal of getting to these steps as you come up these steps is the more elite guard ready to defend their master to the last and uh, ax your head off while they're at it. Pretty cool. But wait, there's more. You're coming up the steps and you see the archer waiting to shoot at you while his two friends want to make short work of your head. Are you ready for these foes? Who knows? Who knows? Ooh, we can see all the way down. Okay, and that's not it. You still got to get to the top, right? You guys remember what's up there, don't you? You get to the top and realize that you <laughs> have been bamboozled. It was all an illusion, an elaborate hoax to get you to come here. They've been waiting for you. They have special plans for your corpses. It's all part of the ritual. Or is it? Alright, so as you can see, you can you can preset your battle and uh, set it up however you want. And for you know the two hundred and nine dollars that this thing costs, it ought to do some neat stuff, huh? Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed. I hope you find your own special deluxe uh, terrain. Uh, um, you could construct your own. Yeah. Uh, people are doing amazing things with like styrofoam and uh, you know uh, there's there's uh, the clay model molds. The clay molds or no plaster molds. That's it. There's probably both. Um, you could use green stuff if you really had time and skill. Um, or you can just spend $209 and get this shipped to your door. Um, it's one tower, but it does have multiple uses. Hold that thought. There are different configurations you can do. Um, unfortunately, the top floor ceiling piece does not slot in on the first floor because it's wider. But it will work on the second level. And I'm guessing since it's the same size, also this one. So you could actually make either of these a single building. So this could be like an, uh, a mystery. Hold that thought. This could be some sort of ruin with an open ceiling. Or you could use the ceiling tile to cover it. Um, so this is another configuration. It's a... Uh, or it could be a maid shop, magic shop, something like that. So that's another. So that's you're getting two or three buildings in one. But I have a neat idea here. I just had. Here we go. You are tasked with one simple mission. Your mission is to gain entrance to this building. Gain entrance to this building. That's it. There are no doors. There are no windows. But that is the riddle. And inside, something cool. Oh, let me take that step out so we can get it to work. Okay, so for your ceiling, that's not going to work. But this will. This will, so. There it is. And then you put that other piece on top here. 
and you've got an unopenable little dungeon uh, mystery yeah if only you could get in right maybe you learn a cool pass through stone kind of spell pass wall or uh, you know transmute yourself into ooze and try to find a seam in the rocks or uh, teleport <laughs> blindly Ooh, exciting dimension door what are we doing anyway uh, there's another configuration here hold on you don't always need something as grandiose as a tower and you could take these guys off you know they are removable so this could just be a really simple stone cabin or uh, shop or uh, ancient ruin it's whatever you want it to be guys but the point is is you have options um, at least three or four different configurations maybe even five on this thing so it is somewhat more versatile than you might think however it is a $200 toy so you know for what it's worth if you got the extra lolly to spend on that I gotta say it's pretty cool um, however if you're someone who wants a lot of utility you could probably do better with a set of those dungeon tiles that um, these guys sell so this is Warlock Tiles. Warlock Tiles. Um, so you, yeah, if you're not looking for a Tower of Power, um, you might do better with that, with the Warlock Tile set. And like I said, you can make all this stuff on your own. It takes a lot of time, it's tedious, but it's definitely doable. All right, guys, I hope you find all the miniatures of your dreams while you're awake and have an amazing day. I'm glad we could explore this um, together. You know, it was a fun buy and a fun video to make. Thank you and have an amazing week, month, day, hour, second, whatever time frame we're looking at here. Be safe out there. Guys, I also wanted to say that your viewership is very important to this channel. I just uh, ask that you like, dislike, comment if you can, subscribe if you haven't. We might keep you entertained. You never know. And yeah, be well.